Hey everybody, I'm Forbes Riley and welcome to Forbes Living, where we focus on health, wealth, and happiness. Well, today we're going to focus on the wealth part. You know, it's often been said it's not about how much money you make, but how much money you save. And in that equation, how much taxes do you pay? Now, I'm all for paying taxes. I love my roads, my policemen, but I do think there's a thing about my fair share and my first guest. Mr. Albert Corey is an expert in the tax field. He is a business and tax financial strategist. Please welcome Mr. Albert Corey to the Thank show. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. <laughs> Forbes. How are you? Awesome. You know what? Ever since I met you, you have such a just a joy about you. You know that? Oh, uh, thank you. And so we've been studying together and you've been working on my out of pitch class. What first even excited you about studying with me? It's that I always like to follow the big biggest people in the planet. So when I started looking up the stuff and that you were the number one pitcher and made the big bucks and HSN, I said, da ching, cha ching, <laughs> time to learn from somebody who knows the best. Because success says you always learn from the best and don't just keep watching YouTube videos. Right. And success leaves clues, which is what yes. I do as well. I'm also very excited by the tax man because that's always been something that I don't focus on. Now, how did you get into that industry? It's a crazy story, but what really happened was I was working with my parents and, and in 1984, my mom comes up and says, get a pen and checkbook. Yo, the IRS. Now I was working with them in a motel. I'm from a Lebanese background. Never got paid. You just, if you want to buy a car, you just go on top of the dresser, take the money and buy whatever you want. Okay. She says, oh no, you got to write a check. I go, huh? So I said, wait a minute. So then the next day or a couple of days later, I looked for an ad at H&R Block on a tax class. And obviously the rest is history. I guess the point is just one moment in time can change your whole life. And that one question changed everything 39 years ago. 39 years ago. Now you were not always successful. You are now, but from what I hear, you were a bullied kid. I was bullied, picked on. Um, last to be picked, you name it. And this was the 70s. So, right. you know, you didn't go home and tell dad, you know, somebody picked on me or called me a name. Papa Joe Corey would have said, take a blanking stick and smack him over the head and send him to the hospital. All right. So I've not been to Lebanon, but it sounds like a whole lot of fun. I love some of the food. Yes. But you have a strong Lebanese background. What does that mean to you? Lebanese background, everybody from North Lebanon, they all went around the world and became millions and billionaires because they started with nothing. They had the worth ethic, and that was the key to success. They went around the world, whether it was the States, Australia, Europe, you know, they went with suitcases, with suitcases, Wow. with nothing. And then they ended up owning like my, one of my wife's cousins owns the largest construction company in Pacific Rim in wow. Australia. And he started with a laborer putting blocks for American blokes, as they say, Is well, that Aussies. Now, your dad was really hard on you, wasn't he? Oh, yeah, man. If you didn't ride a bike, you know, if you didn't ride the bike right, you know, I can't use the words here, but it was definitely, <laughs> you know, very, very, you know, if you didn't like something, he would tell you, or even to the day he died, it was like always, you know, why didn't you do this? You know, it was like old school parenting. Old school parenting said, it didn't matter how old you are, I'm your dad, I'm going to tell you what I think, and I don't, he didn't care, you know. Well, but you're not that kind of dad. I've met your daughter. You're you're a wonderful dad, aren't you? Kind of, but I'm still kind of, you know, at their age, and my kids are 31, 30, and 27. Mm -hmm. If I don't like something, it's not like, well, excuse me, they're 30. No, if I don't think they're doing something wrong, and my wife's the same way, we definitely no filter. We tell it like it is. Now, as an entrepreneur, what do we all need to know about taxes? What you need to do is, a, don't do TurboTax. You see, you know, go do what you do. I see, especially entrepreneurs, you know, they all think they try to save some money and they all use TurboTax or some of this stuff, which I've been doing this for almost 40 years in a business world, that every time you have a business and do TurboTax, you always get into trouble because you don't know what you're doing. Okay, so we should come to a tax expert. Now, you process in your office in Miami, in Hialeah, a lot of tax returns. How many? Um, we filed this year, after 39 years, we filed 102,000 returns. Wow. Um, we did this year 3,700, and we did over probably over 25,000 business returns. How 
many millions have you saved your clients? 60, 60 million dollars just on business people. I ran a report. I don't know why I ran a report um, a few weeks ago. This year alone, my clients made 130 million and they got back 12 million. Wow, those are some very impressive numbers. What makes you so good? I think people, we care about people. Um, we follow up, we make sure if you're a business owner, um, I made it a point and that's why I think I'm really good at the business strategy. You can tell me the business and I'll tell you what the deductions and how to grow and how to make, you tell me any business, I've done everything um, from actresses to transvest to every kind of, every single kind of business I pretty much um, did. And if I don't know, I'll probably ask you so I can learn about it. Is there a big shock happening in the tax world that we should all know about? Like what should we be looking out for this year? Um, there's not really, I think the government's gonna have to start raising taxes. People are not gonna get as much refunds to lower end people. Cause I really think the government, everybody got credits this year, insanely too much credits from past. So I think all these lower income people are gonna get whacked next year because they're not gonna get the credits. Got it. And so if you get more and more successful, you know, you cross the million dollar mark, what should you be thinking about tax wise? I think how to get more deductions, um, start businesses. See, I've always said to start a business and let the government pay for it. It doesn't matter what you start. The rule says, are you trying to move the business forward? You know, if you sit and watch YouTube all day, I mean, not YouTube, seeing squirrels crossing, but watching Forge Factor and how to do pitches, right. or let's go to Taxman Albert Corey and how to find the tax deductions, that's actually um, you moving your business forward. And the government rewards you for that. Yeah, yes? because you're a business. The definition is, do you, are you moving your business forward? Interesting. All right. I kind of like that. Now, but you're more interested now. You love the taxes. You've nailed that. You also do a lot of marketing. Yes. Including I'm how cute your, your logo is. Um, I'm now heavy into business strategy right. because COVID, and, I, and I've been doing this a long time, is I want businesses to grow and make tons of money because the world is falling apart and you can't depend on the government to do, take care of the homeless, you know, football coaches. I mean, there's a million things, you know, you're having to feed America, but they need money. Well, yeah. the entrepreneurs have to go out and make a ton of money so you can help change the world. That's very, very true. I love that you're focusing on that. So you also have a side hustle. You are a speaker on stages. Yes, yes, I spoke. The funny thing is, um, like three years ago, four years ago, I, you know, I was the bully kid and you know, now I speak on the national business stages. Um, this, this year, we're in 2020, 22 and we're shooting, I will be probably in front of in just three events about 1500 people. Wow. Now what part, how did you get to that part of your career? I guess what happened was I felt that one, I always wanted to do something in the off season because I do work. And then I just wanted to do something different. Um, I wanted to do something different. So that was doing different. So if right. you can change the world and give money to give back to St. Vincent de Paul Society and Knight Col Knights of Columbus, mm -hmm. you know, everything I make goes back to the Knights of Columbus, which is a big organization and the cat that they give money away. I mean, they don't have a dime. It all goes, they make it, it's all volunteer and it goes back to the community. I love that. You have some pretty impressive mentors. Who do you who do you love looking up to? Um, obviously, I've been hanging out with you since COVID. Um, I hang out with the power team people a lot. Um, cool things have happened where people don't understand you can grow your business. It's so simple that I know you know who Greg Reed is, right? Sure. I well. never met him. So I was at Bill Walsh's power team event a um, couple of years last year. And I even became friends with Bill because, and I'll tell you how I met Greg, is I just happened to had Greg, hey, would you like to drink in the morning? So Greg comes up with some crazy black coffee, four sugar, I mean, four sugars and eight creams. Oh God. Guess what I gave him the next day? Oh. You know, guess what I got? You know what he told me? He goes, Albert, you're the only guy, I've been doing this for 20 years, who ever gave that. You know what's so funny? Three days later, I got a whole box full of his books and tapes because thank you. And now now he texts me. I mean, he's got thousands of clients. Yes, he does. 
and I could show him on my phone. He goes, hey champ, how you doing? I love that. All that because I spent $6, no, about $6 for a cup of coffee at the Paris Hotel. Well, but you did the same thing for me. You found out that I have a secret passion for baklava. The next thing that shows up at my house is the most delicious baklava. That's pretty clever. Well, here's the thing. People entrepreneurs don't get, right? They're pretty like retarded. <laughs> Listen, here's the thing. I'm going to ask you one question, Ms. Forbes. Yes. How many people have you gone through since COVID? In terms of like my students? Students. I have over 12,000 students. Thank you. And how many of them, and I'm honest with you, full disclosure, this was not rehearsed. Yeah. How many of them ever did what I, no, tell me the truth. How many have ever sent anything like that? Spent a whole, sorry to say this guys, 29.50 on Amazon. I will tell you, there's about five of you. So I get gifts from Inga. I okay. get gifts from a woman named Carmen Ring. Okay. And you notice, I notice, I know the name of everyone who's gotten me a gift. And you were on the top of that list because you got the sweetest gift, the twenty nine ninety five baklava. No, but but my point is, with these people aren't. Hello, Spencer. It doesn't take much to get noticed. Doesn't take much. I'm giving right. the Greg story. And you're sitting here in my world. I get it. Believe me, it's a nice so, payback. So so people don't think of that, and that's <coughs> one of the keys that you know you be you make people feel good. I mean, I think the keys of building my success um, is you make people feel good, and the money comes back. I mean, it's easy. So what I want you to do now is I would like you to look at an entrepreneur out there and I would like you to tell them what you're up to and why your business strategies work so well and how they get in touch with you. Right there. Okay, hey, my name is Albert Corey. Um, people knows me as Albert Einstein because of the math formula. And why everything works is you gotta go out and go meet and talk to people. See, once you're talking to people and make them feel human, okay, and don't treat them as a number, they were gonna come back to you forever and ever. And that's really the secret sauce. I mean, you could be a billionaire, but if you don't say hi, how are you, and make you feel good, then they're never gonna come back to you. And that's really the secret sauce. I think that is, it sounds so simple, but you live and embody that. And in the last two years that I've known you, I've watched you blossom. Thank I've you. watched your level of self-confidence. I also watch how many people you help and it's extraordinary. I think what you're doing is really, really profound. What's something that you want your family to think about long after you're gone? I think it's simple how I want to leave that you're out there always helping somebody. See, once you help somebody, the world comes back like that. Everything will come to you. Um, you know, good things start to happen. You meet cool people. And as you meet cool people because you help somebody. I mean, if you help the homeless person, you're helping somebody and who knows, maybe that one person, they might have no money today, but they're gonna say, oh man, Corey came by and he helped me. And the next thing you know, you get a thousand people asking you and calling you. So this is not rehearsed. I would like you to pretend that your dad's out there and that you get a chance, you're sitting on my couch in my studio, hanging out with some pretty cool people traveling the world. Start a sentence says, Pops, let me tell you something. Pops, let me tell you something. What you really told me, even though you're always hard and always complaining what I spent, by the way, don't ask how much I spent coming here today. Oh, sorry. Cause they always do, or foreign people always do, is thank you for always giving the thing of, of hard work and always being nice for people. Because I know even when we ran the motels, you know, you dealt with all the homeless every day in the motels and you always took, took care of them and treated them like their brothers and sisters. So thank you for putting that into me and my kids and my wife, because that's the role model people need. That it didn't matter where you came from, everybody was always the same. So when I think, give me your hand, I think that you are a very, very special man on so many levels. I know that sometimes your wife gets hard on you for all that you're investing in you, but I gotta tell you, what I see is a very proud, amazing papa, a friend to so many, a mentor to others, a tax saving specialist, and a guy that I like hanging out with. Thank you. Job well done. Albert. Thank you. All right. Last thing, tell everybody how can they find out how to get a hold of you? This one? Yeah, yeah. sure. Right here. Hey, uh, my name's Albert Corey. You can go to Albert C360 um, dot biz. That's A L B E R T C 360 dot biz. You're going to get everything you know about Albert and an amazing free gift that's going to take your business to the next level. All right, my friends, Mr. Albert Corey, the tax business strategist to the stars, at least he is now. Thank you so very much Thank for your you. time. Thank I think you. you're great. Yep.
That was good.